All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Now the aquarium industry has a ton of tried and true products, whether it's the AquaClear hang on back aquarium filter that's been used by people for years or the extremely high quality German made Eheim Jaeger heater. We have a lot of good aquarium products in the aquarium industry. However, that's not to say we also don't have our fair share of frauds and scams running around the aquarium world. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. So after browsing the internet and a couple standard pet stores, I compiled a nice little list of the absolute worst aquarium products I could find, the stuff that I would absolutely recommend a beginner never to purchase as these are just a waste of money, a scam if you will. So we're gonna start off strong with a product that's heavily advertised to beginners and that is pre-made water. Now this product has a stronger market in the saltwater world, however, stores like Petco and PetSmart are actually selling pre-bottled or pre-jugged fresh water. There's a whole bunch of advertising claims on them, but in reality, this is just dechlorinated aquarium water that they're selling for like $12 for two gallons. Or there's also another version targeted to beta fish it's called beta water. It's the same thing. It's a water bottle that they're selling for like $5. The idea is that it's preconditioned aquarium water, which is great and all. However, you can achieve the exact same results with tap water and water conditioner. That's going to be way cheaper in the long run and you don't have to store water. There should be no reason that you have to buy $12 bottled water to keep an aquarium. Like, absolutely not. They do claim they support beneficial bacteria growth. However, upon further research, I found out that the part of the product that supports the beneficial bacteria growth is a little packet of bacteria starter that's under the lid of the aquarium water. So the water itself is simply tap water that they filtered and made safe for fish, which you can do at home with water dechlorinator as I mentioned, for probably one one thousandth of the price. Not only are you saving plastic by um, not buying pre-bottled aquarium water, but in the long run, if you have an aquarium any larger than like five gallons, you're gonna go broke spending money on your aquarium water, which is something you literally don't need to do. I don't know why this is a thing. I don't know why people keep buying it. So number one, please do not buy pre-bottled fresh water for your aquarium. Next up is a product by Aquion and they're called Beta Beads. However, I feel like we've seen this product before because it's just a rebranded Orbeez at this point. Um, they're these little pellets that you put in water and they expand. Um, the Aquion version comes pre-expanded. However, after reading through some of the reviews, it looks like these little balls are meant to replace the substrate of your aquarium. Um, they don't really do the same thing. So I guess the idea is that they're trying to get people to no longer purchase aquarium gravel, but purchase beta beads instead. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the reviews mention that this product is horrible and that it simply shrinks when it's added to your aquarium. I'm not sure why it would shrink. I would think staying in water, they would stay inflated. However, they clearly aren't working out for some people. I don't know why people would purchase Orbeez over aquarium gravel. If it's not broke, don't fix it. There's no issues with standard aquarium substrate. You don't need little squishy balls bouncing around your fish tank. Now this next product is also something I've seen floating around YouTube and I don't know how people get sucked into buying this. This coffee table fish tank is selling for like $1,300. Mm-hmm, $1,300 for a 25 gallon fish tank. Now. Not only is this fish tank hideous, it's completely flawed too. Um, the actual tabletop I've seen get full of condensation. Okay, so what's the point of having a clear fish tank if it just gets full of condensation and can't see through it? You would think the tabletop part would be treated for that. No, for $1,300 you don't get that. Also for $1,300 you get a Tetra internal filter. Yeah, those Tetra internal filters are $12 on Amazon. No canister filter here, no, no, no. You get a big ugly internal filter sitting in your coffee table aquarium. So while it might be a cool novelty at first, uh, $1,300 after shipping and taxes for a 25 gallon fish tank, horrible investment. I would absolutely not recommend this. In fact, every time I've seen people on YouTube buy this product, it usually doesn't stay up for more than a few months in their house. It's not practical. How do you do a water change when the aquarium's in the ground? That's also difficult too, and they don't include any equipment to help with that. So overall, it's totally not worth the money they charge. And even if this aquarium was worth the money, there's a lot more things they could do to better integrate some of the equipment, the lighting, the heater, the filtration, all that into part of the actual table so where it's not visible to everyone who walks by. So overall, zero out of 10, you will never catch me dead with this tabletop aquarium. The next thing I came across is this Eco Biostone. Believe it or not, I actually have one of these. Um, it came with a used aquarium I bought. But the idea here is it's a $20 rock, a $20 super porous rock, 
that's designed to keep your aquarium cleaner longer. In reality, it's just a super porous stone um, similar to lava rock, which allows beneficial bacteria to colonize and breed in it and do its little thing. However, that beneficial bacteria will literally grow on anything. It'll grow on gravel, it'll grow on glass, it'll grow on filter media, it will grow on other rocks. You don't need a $20 stone to magically fix your aquarium. Their slogan is that the rock cleans water in nature's way because the rock isn't doing anything. The bacteria that's already in your aquarium is what's cleaning your water. The rock just sits there and looks like a rock. So that's that on that. This next product is actually similar to that little stone we just talked about, um, but this one is more of a scam than anything. This $25 block of carbon is called the Eco Aquarium Purifier Cube. Now this hideous looking black cube is just a cube that's infused with activated carbon, the same stuff you see at all sorts of pet stores, the same stuff that comes inside your filter cartridges, the same stuff that comes in little bags with your canister filter. It's just activated carbon that they are advertising as this aquarium super cleaner that destroys bacteria, green water, and anything else floating around in your tank. As you can see in this picture, they're trying to advertise this little carbon block is going to magically turn your water from brown to clear in like 30 seconds. Like, it's just not realistic. I promise, guys, do not fall into this game. I've seen these ads all over Facebook. They literally take this little brick drop it in this water it fizzes which it doesn't do in reality and then the water is magically clear in like seconds like it's it's fake it's fake i promise guys do not waste your money on this thing the next item is a piece of aquarium equipment i've actually purchased in the past and actually hated as well and that is these little battery powered gravel vacuums now in reality i was trying to just vacuum some gravel without having to change water because i was lazy knowing what i know now if you need to vacuum your aquarium gravel just do the water change it's easier in the long run i promise um but basically this battery powered vacuum the idea is you'd shove it into the gravel it would suck up all the dirt and then it would filter it through this little bag you see here um it was horrible it was literally like sucking up dirt from the gravel which it was super weak at least mine was so it didn't really do that much but the dirt it would suck up the bag was like too porous so all the dirt would just pour right back out into the aquarium and within like five minutes the aquarium was murky and gross would clog up your aquarium filter it was really pointless waste of money would not recommend this one also comes with some attachments mine did too such as this super short little hose for water changes but in my case the little hose was literally like this big like it wouldn't even reach from the aquarium to anything so the hose was super pointless mine also came with like a little squeegee attachment that you were supposed to like be able to squeegee the glass with um, that didn't work well either. It did absolutely nothing for algae. I ended up throwing mine away because it was that bad. A waste of 20 bucks. Could not recommend less. Now the next thing I want to talk about is algae control. In a properly cycled aquarium, you really shouldn't have too much issues with algae. And if you're having a crazy outbreak of green water or other algae, there's issues you need to look into without looking for just a quick fix. So I wouldn't recommend things like Tetra's algae solution or algae control or anything like that. Because this is just a super strong chemical, it's a broad spectrum algae control, but not only will it kill off algae, it will kill off snails, it will kill off shrimp, it will kill off plants, and as all that organic matter dies in your aquarium, it will create a huge ammonia spike, and if you don't know what you're doing, all of that dead algae can quickly turn into something toxic and kill off the rest of the living inhabitants in your aquarium. So if you're ever dealing with an algae issue, I would highly recommend trying to go down more of a natural route first, finding the problem, finding out what's causing the algae, and then working backwards to get rid of it rather than just dumping chemicals in your tank and making a ticking time bomb. But that is going to be it for this week's video. I hope if you were looking into any of these products, I had steered you a different way. I know this channel, we do a lot of product reviews, so I thought it would only be fair to point out some of the products I don't like as much in a video. But that is it for this week's video. As I mentioned earlier, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and good bye.